Hey guys, so I'm back with another process video after a long, long time, but um, I was really inspired with my new stuff, which you've probably seen in haul videos. If not, um, just ch check my channel. And this collection here, the Hello Sunshine collection, you can find in a haul video. Um, it's in the paper issues haul video, which is number six of this year. So. Um, I'll try and remember to link it, but I don't know. We'll see. So you can see I've already made like a background with washi tape because I was bored at maybe 9, 10 o'clock and I kind of felt like doing something creative, but I didn't want to scrap. So I just made a couple of different backgrounds and this was one of them. Um, basically, also I would have probably edited most edited out most of it. So um, And it was dark, so I didn't film it. But I basically just took... A couple of washi tapes, um, two of which are new and I wanted to use very, very badly. So I took that pink stripe is from um, Scotch. And then the pineapple with the gold foiling is from, uh, let's see, it's from Hobby Lobby. And then the green one, the diagonal one, is from Tiger. And I've had that for a long time, but the other two are new. And then the, what other one? The yellow one is from the Atwa collection. It's one of my all-time favorite washi tapes. So, yeah. And I just drew a line with a pencil and diagonally and kind of used that line as a guide point, guideline so I could have half of the layout uh, filled with washi, like um, diagonally half of it. <laughs> like a triangle part of the square, let's say. I don't know if this is making sense, but you can see what I mean, I think, so... Um, so then the first thing I did was I printed this photo, and this is a photo from me uh, at the beach. So I took a couple of papers from the Hello Sunshine 6x6 pad. So I have that yellow one, the kind of polka kind of one, and then that pink stripe. And you saw me fuss around with them for a long time, because I was trying to decide which one I wanted behind the photo, and then which one behind that. Like the row of the papers so i decided that i let the, the photo looked not very i'm sorry guys the, the photo popped more on the yellow background and then i put the other polka dot one because it had a lot of colors behind that and my plan was to put the pink in behind there like that but um i thought it was too bright and then i thought it was okay so i put it back and then i just put that whole cluster to the side while I worked on um, some mixed media because it was the, the side where the washi tape wasn't like the other half which is just plain white cardstock card stock, was looking a bit plain uh, for me so I decided I'm just gonna add some paints and that way I'll also get to play with my new distress inks my new colors I guess of the distress inks and distress oxides um, I don't think I used Distress Oxides for this one. So anyway, first thing I did is I just took some white gesso and I took white instead of clear because I only have white. <laughs> it's just basically that simple. Um, and I placed it so it, go it went a bit over the washi tape and it kind of also toned down the washi tape just a tiny bit. And then also on the other side of the cluster and a bit on top. So the paint is going to go kind of alongside the diagonal line again but it's also i'm also going to make sure to cover um the top of the photo and the bottom and maybe a bit on the washi tape but most of the paint is going to go not on the washi tape i don't know if what i said makes sense <laughs> but yeah so i started with the picked raspberry and this is a mini distress ink and just using the packaging technique and dabbing the excess water and then once I play I place one layer of paint I take my photo and place it on top to see where I want to put more paint and what colors I want to go where so I started with the pink and then the, there wasn't enough on the right side and top and bottom so I'm adding more and you'll see as this progresses it looks very very messy and some of you might be screaming at me right now like what are you doing but um once you put that big layer of stuff on top and embellishments, you can barely see it. So, And then this is the Mustard Seed. And it's a nice bright yellow color. So basically, I'm just replicating the colors from the washi tape and making them in a messy little look. Uh, and now I'm going to take a mix. No, it's just Peacock Feathers. And also some of the Tumble Glass because I wanted to kind of replicate 
that green color. So it looked blue on the packaging, but when I put it on the paper and it also kind of mixed with the yellow, it became a, the, a very nice shade of green that like, literally matches exactly both the washi tape and the, and the green in some of the papers. And I was just like a happy accident. I mean, I thought it would be blue and I was okay with that because of the fact that there's blue in the picture and there's not blue anywhere else. So the fact that it's a kind of bluish green kind of thing also brings in the blue from the picture, like just the slightest amount, and the green from the washi tape. And then here I'm also going to add some pure blue that I didn't mix, um, just so I have both blue and green. And that specific shade of blue does have an undertone of green, so again, it's not like a stark blue. <laughs> So it kind of ma it matches with everything and it pulls in blue from the picture and the green from the washi tape. So I, I think that made sense. I'm getting a bit, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now I decided I wanted to add a bit more pink because it got lost under all the green and the blue. So I did that. And then I'm gonna bring back my cluster of papers. Also, yeah, if you, you probably noticed that I placed the papers on like a diagonal because I, kind, I like that look a lot when it's not a perfect square, they're kind of messy, you can see all the patterns peeking through, and it's just a nice cluster of papers. I really like doing that, I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, so yeah, and then you've also probably noticed that I, I, that I um, pulled in the kind of blue kind of paper, and that was again to add to just to bring out the blue from the ocean and the sky from in the picture and um, just to help accent the picture a bit more because um, there's not much blue other than that slight amount of paint in a mixed media. So I think I've stressed that point enough. I should move on. So now I'm here. I'm going through the die cut pack and the so there's two packages I got two embellishment packs from this collection. Again, you can see all of this in the haul video. So I have the ephemera pack and I also have the tags and labels. So I'm going through both of those and picking out bits and pieces that kind of match. And at this point, I'm mostly just picking them out and laying them on the page. And then I'm gonna play around with placement. Now I do play around with the placement a bit, but um, in just a bit, you're gonna see me go through that. See, there I go. I'm going through that whole dish of all the embellishments and just kind of sorting stuff that I know for sure I'm not gonna use and things that I might use and so on. So all those gorgeous flowers, those flowers are so pretty, but I just didn't want to, I didn't want to add them to this specific layout. So, yeah. So I'm just going, sorting through those little two packages. I think this one actually is only the ephemera pack and then um, the tags and labels will come in, in later or I might have already done that off camera, but um, when I use a piece, I'll tell you from where. I got it. Okay, so now again, I'm fussing with these clusters and something's just not right to me at this point, but I'm not sure what. So I'm just moving on with embellishing and I'll figure it out later. So see so here now I'm going through the die cuts that I picked and I'm kind of trying to find place them, placements for them. So I got rid of, um, so I'm going, well, I'm going through that pile again. I'm getting rid of the flowers because I didn't think, I didn't like them on this page. And I've pulled a pineapple over to the side and that little stay cool piece overlaying on my photo. And I've also have two little flamingos at the bottom. And I'm just playing with some stuff. Um, like I wanted to have just a pop of black just to add some boldness and contrast to the page. So I'm also pulling out some little black pieces. And, um, yeah, so I kind of place those two flamingos facing each other, and I really like how that looks. And now I'm kind of just going through and just fussing with stuff, as always. And I have these beautiful gold thickers by Dear Lizzie. I know, they're, I think they're old. I just got them, though, and because they're gold foil. And there's also gold foil in the washi tape. I wanted to bring some of that foil over to the other side of the layout. So I picked these letters and they're awesome and I love them. They're tall and skinny and gold and gorgeous and I just love them. So I decided I went very simple with my title and just used the word summer because I couldn't think of anything else. Um, and basically this page kind of describes my whole summer. I mean that one photo is basically what I did every day. 
But yeah. So then I wasn't, I'm not sure where the placement of the title is going to go. So I'm just sticking it there for the time being. And then I decided that I didn't like that pink stripe paper and as one of the layers for my photo so I fixed that problem that I was thinking so if I was thinking before that something was wrong with the with that cluster there and then I moved on to something else and then I went back to it and I got rid of the pink so yeah and now I'm just playing around with her ideas again like stuff wasn't working so I tried putting it on the, the making us cluster on the diagonal but I didn't like that at all so i flipped it over and see the title was a big thing i mean it took me forever so then another idea i had was to kind of put half of the title on one side and half of the title on the other side so it kind of looked like the photo was on top of it but it really wasn't so yeah so that looked okay but it just i don't know it still wasn't my favorite idea ever so it's going to stay there for a while, but then I'm going to get rid of it again and put it somewhere else. So, yeah. And this is the first voiceover I'm doing for, like, maybe it's been two months since I did my last voiceover. So I'm a bit rusty, so please just bear with me for a bit. And also on my picture, I have, um, so in order for me to print the picture in 4x4, I had to use pic collage and kind of make, put it in a grid with another picture and then get rid of the other picture. So I don't, it's just a big convoluted mess. So when I put it in pic collage, it has their little logo at the bottom of the, on the bottom right corner of the photo. So I usually, if I get, if I can cover it up, I do. If it just isn't happening, I don't. So um, I kind of tried to place those two flamingos on top of there. And that also, I don't, and they, that placement is also very, good for me because it it's just it continues the cluster so if i put it somewhere else there would be a separation and i just wanted a continuance of the whole thing so your eye starts from the title or from the photo and then it goes to the other two sides of the page or if it starts from one side it goes directly to the other i i still i i think that makes sense but i'm not sure so yeah and then i added so i fixed my title i put it over there and i really like how it looks so i split it in half and kind of layered it and then i added a black heart and then i also stuck a tag behind because there was some um white space and that's just a tag from the tags and labels set and then i also put another tag on the other side to kind of replicate that thing and again give a continuance to the um to the cluster and just make the layout feel like one and not two separate things like to kind of connect both sides of the layout so the washi tape side and the mixed media side i, I think yeah again i might not make sense but yeah so one of the things that i replicated was the colors um in the mixed media so the same colors that are the same colors of inks with the same colors of washi tape and then i have black on both sides like the black hearts and I also have tags on both sides, and I have gold foil in the washi tape and gold foil in the title. So I have all the same elements in all of the same, and on both sides of the layout. And then I thought about putting a flare over there. So it's going to stay there for a while, but then it's going to go. And then I thought I could add a couple more hearts. And this is just a sticker sheet from Target, and it's very, very pretty, but and cutesy and I love it but um it the, those hearts weren't weren't working for this layout so those are gonna stay there again for a bit but then I'm gonna get rid of them so when something isn't working right away unless I hate it I just keep going with it until I find something else or I leave it there and work on something else until I think of a way to replace it so yeah I'm just going to glue down those flamingos because I'm not going to move them. And I love them there, so they're getting glued. And I see, so now I'm thinking, I can't, I'm kind of stuck. I can't, I don't have anything to add. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of stuck, so I fussed a bit on the flare. But then I pulled out these enamel dots, and I thought I could use some of those enamel stars. Um, because they're white, but again, that wasn't really working. So then I pulled out this chipboard piece from Bella Boulevard, and they they had it had some of these very nice um plus signs, and they were white 
and it kind of blended into the whole thing but also added something to it but they weren't overpowering so I'm just going to add one to each cluster and then I decide I'm going to do my journaling on this tag until I figure out if I want to add anything else or not. And I just wrote about what we did that day, I mean which, be which beach we went to, with who, and so on. And then those stickers that I've been pulling in and out, I love them and I've been trying to use them on the last three layouts I've made and they just, they, I can't get them on there. It's very annoying because I love them, but it's okay. So I, I kept trying to get them on this page because the colors worked very, very nicely. But I just, I don't know, I didn't like where I was placing them, so I just left them to the side. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, I'm going to kind of outline that um, guidance line between the washi tape and the paint side. Just to add another pop of black. So here are the close-up pictures. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or opinions you want to share, leave a comment below. I love getting all your comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to get notified for um, future videos that I post. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.